Hey my YouTube friends. I just wanted to show you a little trick about making your own wreath frames. Dollar Tree pipe cleaners. Dollar Tree wreath frame. So sorry, I take off my jacket. Um, a lot of people have asked me about how to make one, like a frame itself. There's a couple methods. Um, there's just put like you'd put a tie up here and then two ties back here. You do end up with an extra. Um, let me take this off. Or every wreath frame is essentially 10 at the bottom and eight up here. So what you can do is I like using these middle two bars. You can start it at the crossroad. These, these are really flimsy pipe cleaners. I'm just saying if you make to sell, I wouldn't use the Dollar Tree ones. There's a lot better ones. As you can see what I did, I put it between there. And now I'm going to twist. Well, I'm going to try to twist. I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to fling this thing and twist it as tight as I can. Then, as you can see, pretty much go wherever the ties kind of meet. Should be about your next section. To where you end up with, make sure it's even. And you're in frame. Um, these aren't my favorite pipe cleaners. I'm not even gonna lie. I just grabbed them in the drawer because somebody asked me to show them. And so, again, just twist really tight. And then move on to the next section. If you hear something dripping in the back, I'm making coffee. I went to a local convenience store to get coffee and I was like, oh, I'm going to splurge and get me this, I don't know, the $3 cup instead of $2 cup of coffee. Well, no go. No go at all. Nope. No, no. Not happening. It was supposed to be like mocha mint. It was like, mm, mm It wasn't, it was mocha. It tastes like chocolate water. It just was not good. So you keep doing the same thing, keep going around the wreath base. Like here, it kind of almost ends up at the crossbar, which is kind of cool. So I'm just gonna put it at the crossbar just to make it. Again, these are not my favorite pipe cleaners at all. But you keep, you gotta pull it tight. So you don't have to buy a $7 frame. I keep taking it out of the frame. You don't have to buy a $7 frame to make a wreath. But what I do suggest is that you invest in not Dollar Tree pipe cleaners if you can. I know Hobby Lobby, AC Moore, they all have um, chenille stems, which are pinky out. Um, they all have um, chenille stems, pipe cleaners, whatever it is. They all have them. Some are better qualities than others. But I suggest if you're going to make a wreath, nobody ever tells you this. They have widths on them. Do not get the point six, the little ones. Or the people you make wreaths for are not gonna be repeat customers because it doesn't take much for them to snap. Like, I can't even tell you how easy this would snap because these are not thicker chenille stems. Put your pinky out. Um, they're, not, they're not thick. So if you get the thicker versions, you have a better shot of them lasting longer and actually we're being not quite as good as the the ones at like that are on like the more expensive wreath frames but you do have a shot of them lasting more than like somebody drop it and that's it though it's bogging it's broke so right now where are we at three six we should be able to get ten on the bottom here if we keep kind of keeping this semblance going keep it at the crossbar Some people do the outside. That's just weird for me. I'm a weirdo. Um, I just, I do this side. You'll see what I do in a minute. And you just keep going. I have a really good grip so I can get it tight without spinning the wreath. But if you don't, like you don't have to. So three, six, seven, we'll get eight, nine, ten. We'll get them on here. And then that'll be the ones for there. 
if you want, you could put them on these bottom too, down here. You could put them down here. I like using the middle ones. That's just me, who I am as a quirk box. That's just, just me. But you get the general idea of how you could turn one of these Dollar Tree frames into almost like a pencil work wreath frame with better quality pipe cleaners, just saying. Uh, the next one, the next one is going to be almost at the crossbar, so we're going to put it on the opposite side of the crossbar so we can squeeze one in the middle there. Um, when you get Dollar Tree frames, I'm just going to tell you, be mindful because some of their frames are not welded together that great. So if you're going to get them, you can reinforce them whether you wire certain parts of them by adding wire here i keep pulling another frame where you whether you can wire them 